What's up guys, JP back at you once again, bringing you guys day number 30 in my 5th annual 31 Days of Horror. This is a series in which I was supposed to watch 31 horror films in 31 days and record a review. I did the first part, I did not do the second part. That's why we are in February of 2017 still doing these. So, uh, day number 30, we got The Autopsy of Jane Doe. Uh, from 2016. This film got a release late 2016 on VOD, uh, but that didn't stop it from making my top 10 of 2016. I absolutely love this movie. Uh, it follows a father and son um, corner team who uh, does the autopsies for the local police. Uh, police find this woman half buried in a basement of a house uh, who is dead and they take her to the morgue to have the uh, father and son team do an autopsy to def determine the cause of death. Um, they begin the autopsy, but they notice really weird things about this body, and it's each thing that they find out leads to more questions. So there's, um, you know, burn marks in the lungs, but there's no uh, signs of uh, fire damage or smoke uh, damage to the you know body itself. So. Um, you know, they find uh, scratches on the in, uh, on the inside of the body, like near the organs and, and things like that. But they can't they can't find any wounds, you know, knife wounds or anything. So there's all these weird things that are happening that they can't explain. And the further they um, investigate, the the more freaky the movie gets. And I absolutely love this movie. I was so into. Uh, the autopsy and finding out what was going on with this corpse and why all these things happened and I had no idea and even when it was finally revealed I didn't see it coming at all so uh, and I found it to be really creepy and make a lot of sense like it made perfect sense it's like oh yeah that's that would make sense why all these things are, are wrong with this body so I thought that it was fantastic some people say that it it loses its footing a little later in the film I thought that it plays out good um, this is this is a great movie. It was really intense. It was uh, one of the coolest um, experiences I've had watching a movie in 2016. It, it was really neat. I give it an 8.5 out of 10. Solid, solid stuff.